二零二二年第十二條題目，我哋繼續科學探究啦。今次呢條題目咧就問翻啦，下面咧有四個改良咗嘅裝置 A、B、C、D 啦，咁我姑且叫做 set up R 啦、S 啦、T 啦同埋 U 啦。咁究竟啦邊一個裝置係能夠顯示得到？喺實驗當中產生嘅氣體係乜嘢咧？咁當然啦，就係睇翻第十一條題目，我哋嘅 set up P 啦。喺呢個發緊芽嘅種子當中，由於佢哋係 living 嘅，係生存嘅，佢哋就會進行呼吸作用啦，從而產生嘅就係二氧化碳啦。所以呢條題目咧就係考緊我哋究竟有咩嘅化學物質係能夠顯示到俾我哋睇二氧化碳佢係存在係出現嘅咧？首先咧，你一定要知道究竟整個探究目的係乜嘢？我哋要做乜嘢啊？就係、是、揾到究竟產生嘅氣體係乜嘢。所以呢一條題目咧係非常之直白嘅，就只有 B 咧係真係用緊一款化學物質，係能夠探究到究竟係乜嘢氣體係被產生嘅，就係、是、lime water 石灰水啦。石灰水咧喺我哋初中咧都學過嘅。就係、是、去探究翻究竟二氧化碳有冇出現？佢當初啦就係 clear 啦，或者我哋用 colorless 啦，冇顏色啦去形容佢嘅。當佢接觸到二氧化碳嘅時候咧，佢就會變成奶白色 milky white 啦。而對於 chem 嘅同學咧，有多少少嘢想同大家講嘅，就係、是、當啦，我哋加得越多嘅二氧化碳咧，佢當初之所以能夠變成奶白色，係因為啦有呢個碳酸鈣呢一款嘅沉澱物啦。呢、这、一個碳酸鈣咧就會溶解咗，就變成啦一個冇顏色嘅碳酸氫鈣溶液嘅。咁但係今次啦，我哋淨係想知道佢係咪變色啫嘛。咁佢係變咗色嘅話咧，咁所以 option B 咧就係、是、正確答案啦。咁但係啦 ，A、C、D 點解會係錯咧？我哋就嚟逐一擊破一下咯。咁 option A 咧，佢用嘅咧就係氧氣嘅吸收劑。但係問題就係話啦，呢款化學物質雖然吸收氧氣，但係我哋嘅科學探究目的係乜嘢啊？係想揾下究竟佢係產生咗咩氣體啊嘛？咁你吸咗個氧氣去，唔會幫助到我哋做科學探究嘅喎。咁所以啦 ，option A 咧就錯啦。跟住啦就開到 option C 同埋 D 咯喎。最重要嘅概念咧就係，由於佢哋係用緊死嘅種子嘅，咁所以啦根本咧係唔會有一個氣體嘅產生嘅，因為佢哋根根本就唔會做得到呼吸作用嘅，咁仲有啦 C 同埋 D 咧，其實佢哋都係用緊二氧化碳嘅吸收劑啦，同埋水啊，其實都係唔能夠顯示到二氧化碳嘅出現嘅。而喺呢條題目啦，解完之前咧，有一個問題想問下大家，就係、是、啦，題型變奏啦。今次咧就唔係問 A、B、D 咯，直接問你 option C 啦。我哋用呢個煲熟咗嘅種子，究竟啦呢個有顏色嘅液體究竟會點樣喐動法咧？試喺留言區留低你嘅答案。嗱，記住解釋你嘅答案喎，唔好淨係話喐左喐右或者唔喐就算數喎。解釋你嘅答案，睇下你嘅 concept 清唔清 ？Two two two question two. We continue the scientific investigation. There are four modified setup. Setup R S T U in the options A B C D. So which of the following modified setup can be used to show the identity of the gas produced in the investigation? So for the question eleven, we know that for the setup P, we are using the germinating seed, and the germinating seed they are living. Therefore, they can carry out respiration and produce carbon dioxide. Therefore, this question is asking us to recall the chemical which can identify the presence of the carbon dioxide. So for this question, the very critical idea is that you need to realize the aim of the investigation. We would like to identify the gas produced in the investigation, and we can see that this question is quite straightforward because only option B containing the lime water, which is used to test the presence of the carbon dioxide. That's the concept we learned in the junior science. So for the lime water, originally it is clear, or we use it colorless to describe it. And when it contact with the carbon dioxide, it will turn to milky white. And for the chemistry student, I would like to add something more for you for revision as well. When we add more carbon dioxide, it result in the precipitate, which is the calcium carbonate, dissolving to form the colorless solution of the calcium hydrogen carbonate. Therefore, we use the simple idea, and then we can determine that option B is the answer. So what about option A, C, D? Why they are wrong? For the setup R in option A, we use the oxygen absorbent in the setup. 
The chemical it can absorb the oxygen. However, it doesn't serve the purpose, the aim of the investigation. Therefore, option A is wrong. And for the option C and D, both of them we use the boiled seed because the boiled seed they are dead. Therefore, there will be no gas produced by the boiled seed. And at the same time, it's using water and the carbon dioxide absorbent. It's not the chemical to test the presence of carbon dioxide. And one more question I would like to talk about is that for the possible question variation in the setup T in option C, what will happen to the colored liquid in the setup T? So leave your answer in the comment section and remember to explain your answer. Don't just say that they move it to the right, move it to the left or stay still. Let's see if your concept is clear or not.